Hey friend, Roger Christofferson here again with another first listen review. Uh, just got done to listening to the Defiance uh, new one, Drive. Been listening to this one all day, actually. So much so that I didn't listen to a few other ones that I was going to get to, but I was loving this one. I was really looking forward to it. Um, in case some of you guys don't know who these guys are, it's uh, if you've ever heard of the band Danger Danger, their final lineup included... The vocalist Paul Lane, who was saying and a couple other things too, his voice is just killer. He's got some solo stuff out, and uh, he had another band out. His name is slipping my mind right now. That was just killer stuff. He just he sings amazingly well. Uh, guitarist Rob Marcello and Bruno Ravel on bass, and uh, this one has Van Romain on drums. Um, the previous album I had him and I think Steve Sweet. Um, the former drummer, or uh, Steve West, not Steve Sweet. Um, Steve West uh, was a special guest on the last one, and the first two albums, this is their third album, their first two were just amazing, so I knew this was going to be good, and uh, I was not let down at all. Um, as I've been told, I tend to talk a lot, so I'll probably keep this one really short, but uh, that's only because uh, it's really super late where I am right now, and uh, I'm like half asleep as it is right now, but I just had to get this one out there because I, I just couldn't stop listening to this one. Um, this is like, uh, kind of remind me more of like early Danger Danger, actually, which is not a bad thing at all. I love that first album. Uh, in fact, one of the bands I was in back in the day, we used to play Naughty Naughty and Bang Bang. Um, it's just fun songs, just fun big anthem party songs. Um, their second album, Screw It, was like, I just love those first two albums. And uh, really, they haven't ever had a bad album, but those first two, I mean, they just reached out and grabbed me. Obviously, this is a different singer um, than you know, what they had on that. You know, Ted Poley is not uh, in this, or was not in the final version of Danger Danger. Actually, I think they got back together into some reunion shows here not too long ago with him. Uh, singing but you know like I just said I wasn't going to talk a lot here I am talking a lot again anyway because that's just kind of what I do um anyway that's what this is all about uh just getting together and discussing the music we love and this one I loved there's not a single song on here that could not have been released as a single any one of these could have been a single um big bombastic just party time songs um I mean, come on, with song titles like Hey Life, Go Big or Go Home, like the first two songs on there are just like that big Anthony type thing. And then there, I think the first single was actually 19 Summertime, which is track three. Um, just killer. I mean, there's just, re just they have not lost their ability to write songs. Um, I was actually having this discussion with somebody the other day. It's how do these bands like write these amazing songs at the beginning of their career? and then they just forget how to write amazing songs. They got years and years and years beyond that. They still can't write good songs. Um, you know, everybody says, you know, you have your whole life to write the first album, but you still have the whole rest of your life to, like, learn how to get better and write better songs. So I have never understood that whole argument there. But anyway, these guys have not lost their touch at all. Um, you know, they got a couple ballads on here, Miracle and... My favorite one was I Love Don't Live Here Anymore. I don't care if, if they get compared to other bands like Def Leppard. Or, um, uh, actually, the, what I heard a lot in this was like a, like a Survivor, like a heavy Survivor type. Not heavy on the Survivor end, but if it, Survivor was a heavier band. Um, that kind of a feel to it in a few different places, which is not a bad thing either. I actually love Survivor. Got to see them uh, right before Jimmy Jameson, or Jimmy Jameson, uh, passed away, which is a horrible thing, but I actually got to see them, and, uh, yeah, I can tell I'm tired, I'm, like, forgetting people's names, uh, <laughs> but, uh, those songs were just killer, and then, I, it doesn't, like, let up, um, like, even the very last song, Nothing's Gonna Stop Me Now, is probably the heaviest song on the whole album, and they're just all just amazing, I, I got nothing bad to say about this one. Uh, love this band. If you guys have any opportunity to check out the later Danger Danger stuff, it's good. There's These guys have two other albums out, and it's on the Frontiers label. And the thing about, for me, with Frontiers is a lot of their um, bands that they have on here are produced by like a lot of the same people, songs written by a lot of the same people. There are a lot of projects. This one is not really a project, and it was produced by... 
uh, Bruno Ravel, who um, is the bass player, and uh, he did an amazing job. It's it's got it's full sounding. It doesn't sound like the other, like it could be lumped in with those other releases on this album. Like some of them kind of sound to me anyway. Very full sounding, very big sounding album. They concentrate highly on excellent guitar playing. The soul is on this. Even though it's not Andy Timmons anymore, it's still that same style of playing. And the big background vocals um, to just bring these songs even bigger and more to life. So uh, I, I'm going to have to rate it a 9 out of 10 just because I don't, I don't think I've ever given anything a 10. But man, this is super close. And uh, I'm sure this one is going to spend a lot of time in my CD player. Uh, so, anyway, tell me what you guys think of it, of these guys, if you've heard any of the other stuff you think uh, you might want to recommend to other listeners that these guys have been involved in or stuff that's similar to this. Always feel free to comment and leave your uh, comments down below. And as always, you know, I have to ask for you know, to like, subscribe, and share and all that stuff because it really does help out a lot of the stuff I've been doing lately has been getting a lot of traction and it's all due to you guys and appreciate it this is all supposed to be for fun and it's becoming uh, even more fun so um, even though I'm like half uh, half asleep I'm really <laughs> I'm enjoying it and appreciate everything so until next time talk to you guys later see you